Hey everybody, welcome to this new episode of MSI Procast. Today I'm back to talk about a hot topic. After some early teasing and maybe a few leaks, AMD released all the juicy details of their new Ryzen 2 processors. But what's this all about, you ask? How does Ryzen 2 compare to its predecessor? Which MSI X470 socket motherboard should you go for? Let's find out. Just before we dive into this, let me tell you this video will not be a review. We're going to be looking solely at the facts. So it's been a year now since AMD launched their first generation Ryzen CPUs. The features in this first generation included support for dual channel DDR4 memory, support for NVMe storage technology, compatibility with M.2 SATA devices, USB 3.1 Gen 1 and Gen 2, and PCIe 3.0 capability. We also had a 14 nanometer lithography, an AM4 socket, two threads per core, eight megabytes shared L3 cache, a large unified L2 cache, AES units for security, and the introduction of high efficiency FinFET transistors. The first generation Ryzen processor codenamed Summit Ridge was released along with three motherboard chipsets, the A320, the B350, and the X370. Meanwhile, earlier this year, AMD released its Ryzen 3 and 5 Raven Ridge APUs, which were also compatible with all these motherboards. Last year, AMD made a dramatic comeback with a compelling offer that knocked the socks off the PC community worldwide. Now let's look at the second generation of Ryzen CPUs, codenamed Pinnacle Ridge. For this release, we have AMD's first 12 nanometer Zen Plus architecture, the same AM4 socket, identical core counts and cache size specifications, XFR2, AMD's enhanced extended frequency range, an upgrade to AMD's precision boost technology with smoother and more opportunistic adjustments made to boost clock speeds and better memory overclocking. All that with the goal of improving gaming and overall performance of your processors. Now let's take a look at both release processors, Ryzen and Ryzen 2, side by side. Overall, AMD kept a similar nomenclature for Ryzen to Ryzen 2. This greatly helps you to identify the differences and make your choice. Again, with Ryzen 2, we have Ryzen 7 processors with eight cores and then Ryzen 5 processors with six cores. Similarly to AMD Ryzen's first generation processors, we now have chips clocks at even a higher speed, which in turn affects their overall TDP aka the power consumption of the CPU. What's worth noticing here is that the frequency went up across the whole range of Ryzen CPUs. The improved manufacturing process down to 12 nanometers definitely played a role in giving more room for AMD to push the envelope. Finally, a word on the new X470 chipset and retro compatibility. Here at MSI, we support AMD's retro compatibility and offer BIOS updates for all our previous gen motherboards to support Ryzen 2. But if you're looking for something fresh and want to get the most out of Ryzen 2, you should aim for the X470 chipset. Along with this new chipset, MSI brings improved I.O. throughput, stronger VRM design, and enhanced memory layout for higher overclocking capabilities. MSI packed these new boards with the latest innovations in product and software design. With this, take advantage of AMD's new Store MI, a free utility which can boost your hard drive speed using SSD, Sense MI, including pure power and precision boost functionalities. Here are the three motherboards on X470, which I highly recommend to check out at MSI.com. The MSI X470 Gaming M7AC with its M.2 Shield Frozer design to prevent thermal throttling. The MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon and its onboard RGB design, as well as MSI Mystic Light Utility. And the MSI X470 Gaming Plus. All three motherboards have dual power connectors to ensure stable CPU overclockability. And by the way, did you know that MSI was the first brand to make AMD motherboards way back in 1996? Also, we were the first out with AMD gaming motherboards as early as 2014, so you can count on us for offering the best AMD motherboards out there. So that's it for this brief video. I hope this helped clarify what's new with AMD Ryzen 2. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to MSI. As always, thanks for watching and happy gaming. So